Hello and welcome back to the Ride Right Waxing and UK One Wheel channel. Now you're asking yourself why are you looking at a piece of cardboard that I've cut out of a light box on a piece of carpet. Now this is a fender uh, duplication out of cardboard that I've made out of my buddy Tom's uh, One Wheel XR Flight Fin Fender and basically what I've done if you've watched the video on how to fit flight fins um, obviously this gets explained into there. I was short a fender when I bought my flight fins because they were second hand. So I thought I'd uh, see if I could make myself a fender. So this is the cardboard. I then cut it out of plastic. Pretty much a direct comparison as you can see there. This is made out of a 97p bucket, um, but just far too thin. This is a millimeter in thickness and it's just too flimsy and doesn't do the job. So I've got another idea on what I can do and I'm trying to do this as cheaply as possible just to see how feasible it is to make a fender for flight fins. And uh, so yeah, I'm interested to see how this goes. Hopefully you are, so stay tuned. This won't be a long video. And uh, yeah, let's see uh, how I get on. Okay guys, so phase two of my uh, flight fin fender. That was my first prototype out of a 97p bucket. Um, just a little bit too flimsy. Got something a little bit more durable and plastic. I actually got this from B&Q. This was two pounds in the clearance. It's just a lid. We're actually hoping to get two fenders out of this out of clear perspex, which would be quite cool. Um, but also durable perspex, I'm hoping. So we're gonna give this a cut. Um, I've got jigsaw just there. So uh, yeah, let's see uh, how this goes. Okay, so how did it go? Um, yeah, very successfully. Not at first, I'll be honest, not at first, and I'll explain why. So if you are thinking of having a go at this, a couple of top tips I would just give you so you make sure you don't make the same mistakes I did. Luckily, I started up this end, and you'll see a nice big fracture mark here, um, and I didn't start that that end. Now, don't get me wrong, I could have moved the markings up, but it would look all messy and I've had red ink everywhere. And the mistake that I made was I got my jigsaw, I just tore into this plastic lid far too quickly and I was using a wood blade thinking well the you know the, the speed of the actual motor um, would actually cut through quite nicely uh, and it actually fractured it and cracked it now I was thinking maybe the plastic is not up for it but I think the aggressiveness of the saw um, was far too much for the plastic because this is very flexible I've had it in a vice I've whacked it with a hammer um, and for what I'm going to be using it for up on the trails, this is absolutely more than adequate. Um, I don't know what kind of plastic that is. If anybody does know, then please hit me up in the comments and just let me know what kind of durable plastic this would be. Um, but yeah, so it doesn't fracture normally. I think it was just a saw blade. So what I got is out my metal saw. And as you'll see here, the blade on this metal saw, well used metal saw, um, is very, very fine. So went over to my local hardware store and I picked up some metal blades, uh, cutting blades, as you can see there, with a very fine tooth on it. And I must admit, it made a really good job of this plastic. Kind of melts as it goes along, um, which is a good thing, because you can snap all these off cuts off. But I did use a Stanley knife at first, and you just run that down the edges to take off all the rough areas. Then I moved on to a file, then I moved on to 600 sandpaper, and it tidied up really, really well. Um, so let's have a quick look at the finished product. Bear in mind, this bit of plastic was only two pounds. So I'm hoping to get two out of this and I should, I don't see why that one won't come out as well as the other one. Um, so yeah, let's move across. So this is the original um, one wheel fender, which obviously we substituted for the flight fins. We went onto the cardboard cutout, which was my template, the 97p bucket, uh, which is obviously far too thin. But it gave me an idea, and that's when I started looking into plastics. I did like the black, I must admit, um, but I'm just trying to see how cheap I can actually make this. So, on to the finished article. There we go. I think that looks really, really cool. Um, very durable, very thick. Uh, that won't be springing out in any time soon. Stuck some stickers on it. And there we go. Let's pull it out. And uh, yeah, can't really see it on the white, but put to the green of my car, it looks really cool. Um, and it fits really, really well. Very durable, um, and I'll better take it out and wipe it off. And if I do break it, I know that I can make myself another one. So that just simply slots in. I'm gonna put my foot on here, squeeze that into there. 
happy days. So, one flight fin fender made out of. A plastic box lid. So yeah, dead chuff with that. And I think the overall finished results look really cool. So if you are thinking of making one, then why not give it a go? Um, pop down to your local hardware store, be it Harbour Freight, be it B&Q, depending where you are in the world. And, uh, and give it a try. Get the lids out. Get, make sure they are three mil thick. That's what I would say. Um, any thicker, then obviously you do struggle to bend it. Um, but yeah, make sure you get that. Something that doesn't shatter or break. Very pliable plastic. And again, if anybody doesn't know what plastic that is, then please do let me know. And uh, you finish up with that. So thank you very much indeed for watching. And thank you for my recent subscribers. I will be back out on the trails. I am so looking forward to riding these flight fins. Um, I've ridden it around my garden. But that's cheating. Um, I want to ride it for the very first time on trails to see what it's really, really like. Uh, so I'll be bringing that footage to you as soon as it stops raining. It has been raining really, really heavily in the last few days uh, since I filmed my last video. And uh, this is just here, a couple of projects I'm working on. I'm working on uh, the, I suppose, float plates. I've just got to work out how to bend this, but I just cut that out and we've reamed out some holes. Would you believe that is a breadboard? And I did see somebody do that, and that's why I've given that a go. I'm not taking any credit for it. And I made myself a one-wheel stand. It's just off-cuts of wood. Uh, we've got a railway sleeper, OBS board, off-cut, off-cut, and some ply board. Screwed it down, screwed it up, uh, put a hook on the back to hold the cables. And uh, I'll just quickly show you my little one-wheel, actually. I'll pop my one-wheel in this. Move my little uh, power button switch. Yeah, how cool is that? So, rainy days, DIY days. So thanks ever so much indeed for watching. But until next time, for me, my flight fins and my new fender, I'll see you soon. <laughs>